My parents always joke that if you combine my dad's analytical mind with my mom being born the same year as the Apollo 11 moon landing, the odds were highly stacked in their favor to have a child who would grow up to be a rocket scientist. Yes, I stand before you today, a high school senior who plans to have a PhD and bachelor's in astrophysics, but that logic is far removed from the real reason behind my thirst for knowledge. My parents and my educators resolved to ignite my STEM curiosity from a young age. STEM is an educational acronym that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. STEM is no longer the future of our economy, it is now. The US Bureau of Labor and Statistics projects overall STEM employment to grow 13% between 2011 and 2022. This is faster than the rate of growth projected for all occupations over the decade. By providing STEM-centered hands-on learning, encouraging exploration, and welcoming inquisition, a new generation of critical thinkers, problem solvers, and innovators will be prepared and inspired to take on the world and beyond. From as far back as I can remember, my parents provided hands-on activities and opportunities for me to explore and learn about the world around me. I went on nature scavenger hunts, watched caterpillars metamorphosize into butterflies, and constructed towers from toothpicks and gumdrops. Nearly all family vacations included trips to children's and science museums. I even vividly remember one vacation in Florida when my sister and I woke up before dawn to travel two hours to witness an Atlas V rocket launch at Cape Canaveral. My fascination with science took off in fourth grade because of my science teacher, Mr. Bruscato. Our classroom became a laboratory and my mind became its playground. One day he brought in a guest from the Stevens Institute of Technology to do some STEM activities with us. There was nothing special or high tech about the activity itself, just some pipe insulators and some marbles, but it was through the simplification of a concept so complex that it made science tangible. That Christmas, at the top of my wish list was a build your own circuit kit, and that following summer was spent doing STEM activities at Camp Invention in Hamilton. Fast forward to the transformative summer between my sophomore and junior years that inspired my life forever. I became a leadership intern at that same Camp Invention site where I had been a participant as a kid. Kindergarten through sixth graders were able to let their imaginations run wild and create catapults out of cardboard and rockets out of recyclables. One by one, the tiny light bulbs lit above their head the same way mine did just years before, as Newton became more than a fig snack and Edison became more than a city in North Jersey. These kids learn that science is not just confined to difficult equations and abstract calculations, but that it exists everywhere their newly inspired eyes could see. I felt compelled to continue sparking that innate curiosity, so at the beginning of my junior year, I wrote a proposal for a STEM outreach program that I presented to the administration at my local high school, Apsigami. Mr. Schmidt, the science department supervisor, welcomed the idea and helped bring the concept to reality. With his guidance in my plan, the STEM outreach program provided STEM nights to two of the local elementary schools and provides assistance to a third night at the middle school. We also held the first annual Apsigami STEM night for elementary and middle school students at my own school. I, along with others, juniors and seniors, set up dozens of STEM stations for kids to experience science in a fun, interactive environment. In addition to these STEM nights, I wanted to broaden the scope of the program to the Boys and Girls Club of Atlantic City. Monthly after school trips to the club and even some days in July proved to be fun and meaningful. Whether the kids were elbow deep in slime concoctions, constructing rockets to propel to the rooftops, or discovering the DNA of strawberries, they were engaged, inquisitive, and involved. These sessions reinforced why I founded the STEM outreach program to begin with, to ignite curiosity and to inspire a new generation of STEM innovators. Every child, regardless of age, gender, or socioeconomic status, deserves the opportunity to engage their inquisitiveness. Earlier this year, in the Journal of Pediatric Research, Prachi Shaw, an associate professor of pediatrics at the University of Michigan, published findings from a study of 6,200 children that concluded that greater curiosity was associated with greater kindergarten reading and math academic achievement and that the association of curiosity with academic achievement was greater for children with low socioeconomic status versus high socioeconomic status. 
Moreover, as reported in the Science Daily, Ms. Shaw further explained that these results suggest that the promotion of curiosity may be a valuable intervention target to foster early academic achievement with particular advantages for children in poverty. Sparking curiosity in STEM is essential both inside and outside of the classroom. You don't need to be a scientist to find ways to introduce STEM into your households or classrooms. All it takes is a simple Google search. Organizations like Little Bins for Little Hands or Science Buddies are dedicated to providing detailed instructions for STEM demonstrations and experiments, all of them only using what you have in your household. It is now easier than ever to get the children in your life immersed in STEM. All it takes is five minutes, some note cards, and some Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> I encourage everyone to become that catalyst for curiosity in your community, to educators, integrate hands-on activities in your classrooms and see the improvements for yourselves, to parents, invite STEM into your households and nurture your children's curiosity as early as possible, to everyone else, volunteer at your local boys and girls club or elementary school and get involved. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You just have to be willing to make science rock. Thank you.